Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Friday here in the DMV, and uh, it's our first um, ending, our first real week of school. Um, it's been a good couple of days. Um, to, this morning, I want to talk about um, a verse from Hebrews eleven six. It says, "Without faith, it's impossible to please God. For you have to believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him." So, what does all that mean? Well. A lot of people talk about God. A lot of people talk about, you know, God loves me and, and God knows me and, and I'm, you know, I'm cool with God and all that. Um, but without real faith, it's impossible to please God. Uh, faith in God. We have to trust in God. We have to really rely upon Him to know that we're pleasing Him. And that means getting some things in order in our life. We just can't do the things we want to do. We just can't go about life like everybody else is. Uh, we can't, you know, worry about being politically correct or socially correct or, um, you know, doing things that um, will have me be accepted, whether it's in a club and some membership in a sorority or fraternity or, or a team. Uh, we have to seek to please God, but we have to do it by faith. Uh, we have to diligently seek him, as, as the writer of Hebrew says. And, and that means morning and evening, afternoon. We have to be seeking after God's will. We have to be in constant contact with God throughout the day. If you recall throughout the Bible, Jesus would be walking with his disciples and and uh, he would include God in his conversations as if God was really there. And he is. He, as a believer, he's, he dwells in us. He lives within us. And the Holy Spirit walks with us wherever we walk. He hears what we hear. Uh, he watches what we watch. Um, so we need to be seeking God's guidance throughout the day seeking his advice throughout the day, talking with him throughout the day as if he's walking right with us. And um, and, and that's a, a, a habit we have to form. Um, don't be afraid to be in conversation with friends and say, you know, I wonder what God wants me to do. Or Jesus, what's going on here? Uh, help me out. And you'd be surprised how that might cause people to say, wow, who are you talking to? And, and it opens up a door to talk with them. Even if you're around fellow believers, everybody's not in a, a great relationship with God every day. Some people are, are in sin. Some people are in pain. Some people are troubled. Some people are, you know, are grieving. And to bring God into the conversation can calm people down. Can uh, you know? Can bring some peace to a situation. Even bring joy to a situation. You know, where you know someone's down and out. Uh, knowing that God is right here with us throughout everything that we do. So be encouraged today and throughout the weekend to. Uh, Include God in your plans. Uh, I know a lot of times I'll say, you know, I have my to-do list, and, and I, I'll say, God, can you bless this uh, plan I have for today? And what I'm trying to do uh, is to say, God, what is your list for me? Let me bless you today, God. Um, tell me what you want me to do today, uh, and then, then I'll make my list. Uh, try to make God my priority to diligently seek him throughout the day, and, and especially seek him in the morning. Uh, to find out what it is he ha has for me to do. So young and old alike today, let's let's make it a purpose. Let's, let's make it a goal to uh, include God in our day, throughout our day, morning, noon, evening, and uh, see how well our day goes. But have a great weekend, everybody. As always, if you have any prayer requests, please let me know. Uh, continue, let's continue to pray for one another as we seek to honor God and we seek him throughout the day. God bless you.